Welcome to the Jill on Money Show. It's Tuesday, February 6th, and we are here trying to help you make better financial decisions. If you need a little coaching, if you need a little nudging, if you want a pat on the back, if you, I guess, if you want us to yell at you a little bit, we don't want to. We don't want to. But if you need some help at all, some big decision, some life transformation, some milestone, go to our website, jillonmoney.com. Click the Contact Us button and let us know if you would be willing to come on the air. You can come on this program via audio, and you can also come on to our video show, our YouTube show, Jill on Money, powered by The Compound. We have really good questions. It's so much fun. So thank you all for joining us in the early days. Don't forget, my book is out in paperback, The Great Money Reset. We're trying to help you turn chaos into opportunity. And we did that during the pandemic, but that's happening every single day in your life. So something big's going on. You're resetting. You need this book. Check it out. It's on the website. Okay. Today, we are joined by Michael in Seattle. And we are excited because Michael was excited to, he just says, oh, thank you so much. And he was so sweet. So Michael, we're very happy that you're joining us. What can we do for you? Well, thank you so much. I I am very honored to be able to talk with you. And I'm in the middle of a reset. Uh, The company that I was working for was just bought out by a much larger organization. And Mm. I may be in the I'm in the process of not knowing, am I going to have a job? Am I not going to have a job? Do I have enough in savings and in retirement? Um, Should I be thinking of early retirement or, you know, just what what my next step should be? A couple of uh, color commentary questions. Was this expected? Eh, we found out about it in last year. So, But yeah. you knew that they were trying to sell or not? No. No, we oh, did not. Oh, you had not. no idea. So no. last year you were like, oh my gosh, how old are you, Michael? Uh, 63. Mm, are you married, single? What's single. Going on? So uh, right now, how much are you earning? So the annual salary is a little less than 140000 Bonus or not? Uh, yeah, right now the target is 15%. Do you usually get that? Um, I did at the old company. <laughs> oh, right. Good point. Very good point. Good point. I understand. Single dude making money all along the way. Uh, how much money have you put away in advance of this purchase? So what do we what do we have to look at in case you do get uh, how the how the technology world says right size right right <laughs> so as far as um, cash including you want me to include four hundred one ks and let's do let's let's go backwards let's just say cash on hand like that's been like in a bank account in a CD what do you got um, one twenty five six five okay calm down one twenty okay <laughs> and what else do you have a brokerage account um, I have a few of them can you give me the total. The total in brokerage accounts was, is uh, $2,181,155 and some change. Uh, all right. So that's all been taxed, all invested. Well, yes. However, some of it we had um, RSUs, employee stock purchase, and mm-hmm. grants that were just cashed out. And mm-hmm. so I'm waiting to see what the tax imp- Application of that will be. Uh, so with the purchase, all of your stuff popped, yes. right? You get taken out. You don't know the tax liability yet. Yes, correct. And that tax li- and so the tax event happened in 24 or 23? Um, the majority of it was in 23. Oh, you bet. They better get you that tax liability. Like, yeah. You got to, you got to file your taxes. Hmm. Okay. So, but some chunk of that is going to be taxable. We don't know how much yet. Yes. Okay. Next question for you. What's in your retirement account? Okay. So I have a few of them. I have... Um... This is a theme. You have like a few. You like fews. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. I've, I've worked at a different places. So as far as like my, the big, the big one, do you want to know about asset classes or... No, I no. just want to know. I could not care less. What's okay. The total? Okay. Well, in one of them, it's one point one six five nine four five. That's the biggest one. Just give me the first four numbers, dude. Why are you making me work so hard? I don't know. One point one six five million. Yeah. That's in one. And that's all pre tax, right? Yes. Not Roth. Yes. Okay. That is pre tax. Next one. The next one is Fidelity. And mm-hmm. that's a mixture of past and also a brokerage account. And the total for that 
is 431571. What was the rule I just told you? I know. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm nervous. You are? Don't worry. So the okay, but that fidelity, it's old retirement accounts and the new one. But it, the 431 account, the 431,000, 432,000. Yes. That also is pre-tax mostly? Yes, except okay, for about it. Well, there's an individual brokerage account in there as well that has about 78,000 in it. Okay. Okay, 78k brokerage. Got it. But not Roth is, I guess, what I'm asking. Yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. So now we have your retirement accounts, your Fidelity old retirement account, plus a little brokerage. You've got your big brokerage, 2.1 million, almost 2.2. We got to pay some taxes on some of that. 120 grand on hand. What other assets do you have? So I also have um, a house that's about uh-huh. 650. And I own. Oh, 158 on that. What's the interest rate on that? 3.5. And this is a house if you get if you get blown out of work. You want to stay in the house? Um, I have a nibbling that is only 15, and um, I have to stay in the house until they're in college. Got it. Okay. What about college for the 15-year-old? Yep, I'll be paying for that. <laughs> is there a 529 plan or not? There is not. I had started one years ago, but then Washington State was doing something funny, so I got rid of it. And that mm. was one of my questions. Does it make sense to like put 40 grand or whatever it is into one of those now mm-hmm. when they're mm-hmm. going to be doing running start here soon and So is the is is it 15 is a freshman right now in high school or a sophomore? Uh, what it's a sophomore. Do you think that this kid's heading to college to in-state or out-of-state? Like, what do you think we need to really set aside just, you know, for planning? So I do know they want to go to community college locally. And Mm. outside of that, they've changed their mind so many times on what they want to do. But (laughs) I like that. (laughs) So we don't want to overfund it because you only have one kid. Yeah. Well, and it's it's yeah, it's my kid. That's not my kid. Oh, so a nibbling, nice. a nibbling is a, a, a non-binary niece or nephew. How would I? How would I know that nibbling? Mark, you got that nibbling, a non-binary niece or nephew. Oh, is, niece or nephew. All right, I learned something today. Thank you. Whose kid is this? It's <laughs> it's my ex-wife's uh, great. Niece. Oh my God. Yeah, it's go. complicating. Good Jill, Lord. you really don't want to know. All right. Non binary niece or nephew. Yes. And so community college for a couple of years, but that's it. Do you have any, um, anyone else you're, um, taking care of? Like a sibling, parent, nothing? Nope. The ex wife is dealt with, right? Yes. Okay. How much money do you think you need to live on in a given year? Or a month. Either. So right now, um, expenses are probably, eh, depending on how extravagant I want to be, um, they're usually less than 4000 a month. So what is your Social Security full retirement age benefit? Do you know that? I do not. Mark, you have a guess for that? At a 63-year-old who's been making 100 20, 30, 40 grand, maybe 50, 60 with a bonus? I would say not not less than 3,500. That's what I was thinking. I wrote that down. So thank you. Uh, so you don't, you got plenty of money. So this is all good. What is the big fear right now? The big fear is I get blown out. Do I have to go back to work? Is that the question? Well, I'm not really ready to retire yet. I would like to keep working. And there are some things that I w- wanted to do before I retired, like buy property, build a cabin, you know, there's other things that I wanted not to use retirement money for. Okay. So are you highly employable? Like if I'm just doing, I, don't like, know. I hope you don't get, but have you looked or not? <laughs> I don't know. I would hope so. Have you been looking? I have not. Or not? I have not. All right. So time to look. Okay. Even if you don't have to make a lot. If So let's talk a little bit about the whole cabin thing. What would that mean in terms of cost? What would you be looking at in terms of cost? Well, I have budgeted about 200000 for that, hoping it's going to be a whole lot less. But I'm... I wouldn't think so. Don't you think whenever you budget something like that, it's rare that it comes? Oh, my God. It only costs 120 Doubtful, <laughs> right? Okay. So of okay, of the 2.2 in brokerage, fair to say, we'll get – how how much – do you happen to know like the RSUs and the, and the employee stock um, op- ownership plan – 
was that a big chunk of money? Was it like a million dollars? Was it five hundred thousand? No. What would you have an idea of what that was? Yeah, it it was less than five hundred thousand. But like a hundred or four hundred? Uh, I know three twenty was in cash, and then okay. the rest of it has been trickling in. So it's okay. kind of been so, hard to keep up with. Okay. But they're going to give you a tax form, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank God. All right. So let's just pretend that for we'll get the numbers you got taken out. I don't know what part of that is capital gains. I don't know what part of it is long-term, short-term. I don't know what's ordinary income. We have no idea. Let's assume the worst right now. Let's presume that that 320 comes in and it just gets socked on top of your 140. Let's just say this is going to be a horrible tax year and all that money is taxed at the 35% bracket just for the heck of it. Okay. Let's just, let's do that, which is fine. Like, you know, taxes happen. People have things that are happening, right? So if we say that, uh, just going to do a quick calculation. There's no state income tax in the state of Seattle. So worst case, this is what I think of your 2.181, we got to pay 112. And so I'm going to add, uh, let's just pretend out of your 2.18, you've got 2 million left. Let's just do that. That's the worst case. You got 2 million left, which is amazing because you have 2 million there. You have 1.1 in the retirement accounts. You have uh, the three something in Fidelity plus your 70 grand in brokerage. By the way, that Fidelity brokerage, why do we have two separate brokerage accounts? Because one was where all the other stuff went. Can we combine those two accounts, those two brokerage accounts? Do you mean the E-Trade and the... Yes. So E-Trade is where they put all the uh, cash at. By the way, this is exactly why Morgan Stanley bought E-Trade, because everyone who has those E-Trade accounts, they're going to be like, oh, I guess I'll just open up an account in Morgan Stanley, which you're not going to do. You're not going to do that. All right. So you have $2 million. You have all this other retirement money. You're fine. You don't spend any money. You're fine. Absolutely, positively fine. So even out of the $2 million, let's say out of the $2 million, we take, I don't know, forty grand for the 15-year-old's college, probably too much. Let's say it's 40 grand comes to there. I feel like at the end of the day, this is what you have in the brokerage, the E-Trade account. You pay your taxes. We put some money aside for the cabin. We put some money aside for college and you've got $1.75 million. You have cash on hand of 120. We have uh, your Fidelity account, which is, you know, 350 plus the 78 in brokerage. And you've got 1.1 million in retirement. You're a hundred percent fine. You're fine. Cause you only spend four grand a month. You could probably spend five grand a month. Truly. You're great. So the question is, we need to be methodical about it. Right? So I think what happens first is you must like press the company. You're like, I need to know my tax liability. I'm making plans. Be the squeaky wheel or be nice about it either way. Okay. Next. Once you we have the actual tax liability. You're going to owe it in April. So whatever, keep that money in cash. So you have it. Yes. Then what we have to do is we have to think about, should you open up a 529 plan for the 15 year old or not? There's part of me that says, I'm not sure this kid gets beyond community college. So I'm not sure how much more I want to, how much I really want to put away and community college, you'd just pay out of cash flow, Wouldn't you? Yes. I mean, you could open up a 529 plan and put in like a nominal amount of money. Like how much is community college a year? Five grand, 10 grand. I don't even know what it is. Yeah. I don't know. (laughs) Let's say it's, let's say it's five. That's what I'm guessing. So you put 10 grand in the 529 plan right away. Just get it in there. Let it chug along. And then, you know, in a few years you'll know more because probably you'll know more in by 16, 17, maybe by the time kid gets a little bit older, maybe doing well in in school and say, you know what? I don't want to do community college. I want to go to, you know, University of Washington, whatever it is, but you'll have, you'll be able to put new money into the 529. It's just, honestly, even if it's uh, just putting it into the fixed account for a few years, there's no tax liability. So you might as well use that. And then you can go out and buy yourself your cabin and your land and all that 200,000. You can either go out and do that immediately or What's the time horizon on doing that? Year, two years? What do you really think? Well, I was hoping to do it before I retire. All right. So then you take 200000 and you have that siphoned off and you're really good. Um, make sure you don't have that. So what you can know about the brokerage account at the end of the day, wherever you land, $1.75 should be invested. 
Okay. The rest probably is going to be some combination of cash, CDs, money in the 529 plan, money, you know, just money that you have access to. But the 1.75, you should feel free to allocate and invest. No biggie. Same deal on your retirement account. Um, The interesting thing here is that because it's all pre-tax, you know, most of it, there is a case to be made to convert it to a Roth. However, (laughs) here's my however. I kind of want to see where everything stands. Like, do I want to really soak up the brokerage account and the cash until I really want to see what happens with college and the cabin? So I think that we don't convert immediately. And I would not go nutty if you don't get, if this place, the new joint, if Nuco says, thanks for your service, goodbye, you can get a job. You'll get a job, but you do not have to worry about your income. I promise you that. You have plenty of money. You can you can make $90,000 a year. You'll be fine. You don't have to be working to build a cabin. You'd be nice to, but you you got enough money. You're good. There's nothing to be afraid of here. I don't see anything. There's like all good stuff here, really. Do you have your estate planning done? Um, I do. Good. Is it going to the nibbling? It I is. I had to say that. It is. <laughs> oh, my God. I got it. I'm in now. Well, that's what the kids say. So, you know. <laughs> There's so many things the kids say. You, I, and, and you have, you see, you're around a 15-year-old. I'm not. It's even worse. Mark, I, we need Theo to keep us up to date on these things in the future. I'll know nothing. Nuco, it's done. Uh, is there, have there been big changes yet or not? Yes. No. Yes. But you have not yet been touched. Not yet. <laughs> You're hanging in by a thread. You're hanging on by a thread, aren't you? Well, it's it's the thread for me might be a little bit thicker than for others, but um, it's definitely the time will be coming when a decision will be made. But it could be not until the end of the year. All right. Well, I'm interested. Stay in touch, okay? Thank you so much All right. for your My time. My pleasure. And Thank you, and good luck. How exciting. Unfortunately for me, Mark, when somebody purchases Paramount Global, it's not going to be quite like, oh, you're cashing out of all these people's f- <laughs> stock. Remember when Paramount went up to like near 100 by mistake? Those three people who got out, very lucky people. I did write about that in The Great Money Reset. You should check it out. All right. If you've got something big going on, new company, taking over your old company, maybe you're not even cashing out, but you're feeling a little bit insecure about your position, give us a holler. Go to jillonmoney.com. Click the Contact Us button. Please join us on the air. It's so much fun. And don't forget to subscribe to Jill on Money Live. That is where you have access to quarterly live webinars, more special bonus video content. By the way, don't forget to check out our YouTube show, Jill on Money, powered by The Compound. All righty. I want to remind you, you can subscribe to this program on the Odyssey app or wherever you find your favorite podcast. Lift someone up, change your work, change your wealth, change your life. Thank you for listening, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Tomorrow. 